Our problem solvers investigation into child care concerns continues tonight. You may recall Governor Northam set aside millions of dollars of federal money last year to help child care providers in the Commonwealth impacted by COVID-19. So where is the money going and why are parents still being asked to pay so much money for daycare even when their kids are quarantined? Our Melissa Hippolyte looks into how the money is being spent. Virginia child care centers have received millions of dollars in federal stimulus funds to help them survive COVID. And an education policy expert tells me many of them are still barely making it. Look at that, and that's a spine to the bone. On their way to Mateo's second day back at preschool 10 days ago, Juan Ramonet got a call he dreaded. Maybe three blocks from dropping him off and I get a call from my wife saying you got to turn around and uh, we can't bring him in. Somebody in his classroom tested positive for uh, COVID. Mateo has been quarantined at home ever since. Meanwhile, Ramonette is still footing the bill for child care he's not receiving. You're basically just paying for him to just be home. Where else do we pay for something that we don't actually get the benefit of the service? Yeah, it's an interesting question. This issue is front and center in a lot of parents' minds these days. And Elliot Haspel, who works on education policy at the Robbins Foundation, says margins are so thin at most child care facilities, they have to charge you even when your child sits at home. Child care is very expensive to deliver because you have to have lots of personnel. Uh, low adult to child ratios. And yet several parents have asked us what happened to the nearly 200 million federal dollars Virginia child care centers received through stimulus efforts like the CARES Act. Why can't daycares use those dollars to offset quarantine costs to parents? Haspel says those dollars were used to make up for losses centers incurred when they had to close at the beginning of the pandemic. Even when they were able to reopen, um, they were under legally required smaller group sizes for much of 2020. And again, if you think about that, it's like a restaurant being at half capacity. The, the total the revenue that they could bring in was much less. Haspel says without the funds, many centers would have closed for good. He argues the model needs to change. I think that's the the key thing I don't think parents all understand is just how failed the, the business model is for child care. The state plans to use roughly $400 million of American rescue dollars going forward to help stabilize child care centers. I'm told the money will be used in part to help pay for personnel and incentivize participating in the child care subsidy program. Hopefully it doesn't happen again, but if it keeps happening, they got to figure something out. If this is a story that interests you and you want to learn more about what is being done to try to bring about change in our child care system, visit this story on our website, WTVR.com. We have provided a link there to something called the Virginia Promise Partnership. That is a coalition of folks who are trying to come together to advocate for change. Working for you, I'm Melissa Hippolyte for CBS 6.